Life is filled with contradictions. Illusion. A man wants to present the illusion of strength to the world, protecting himself and those that he loves. So he becomes a warrior, going forth, doing battle, day after day, hoping to beat back death. And by fighting so hard to maintain that illusion, a man loses something far more precious than what he had so desperately been fighting to hold. His own weakness, his God-given humanity, is not that Paul was not a good man. It is only that he tried too hard. He tried to kill me. Fuck him. Animal! <laughs> Animal, I thought you were sorry. Get the fuck off me, asshole. Fuck you, you piece of shit. Goddamn macho pigs. Jack? Hey, Jack, it's it's Tom. Tom? Uh? It's Tom and Marianne. Jack? Is this your blanket? My God, Jack, I didn't know you were in such good shape. You've been working out, Jack? Tom. 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 Jack. 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 You have got to stop doing yeah, it. You have to stop doing mm. that. Mm. Mm. Oh, excuse me. I'm so rude. I'm, I don't know. Maybe it's the, uh, the, the air. You, know, you think perhaps the... Uh, the air is perhaps a, a bit too fresh, huh? These are my accomplices. Your uh... associates. Uh, my, uh, the, my business associates. Yes, my associates. Uh, 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 this is uh, Louis and Rosie. Uh, that they, they work for me in the business. Pep knows. I told him. He, he knows all about them. We had quite a conversation coming over on the ferry. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Uh, Our okay. pleasure. Stop. Stop. That. You stop. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jack, is this or is this not your blanket? Oh, yes, it is. Uh, we were gathering, uh, gathering sun on the blanket for the faces. Yes. Yes, we, we, we were gathering sun for the faces with the blanket. Trying to get a tan, Jack? A tan, exactly. In this weather? Well, it's, it's cool. But those rays, you can never really be too safe. Are you sure you're all right, Jack? I'm fine. Fine. If there's one thing I know that I am, it's fine. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's fine, fine. You know, uh, Tom's a psychiatrist. Oh, that's nice. What, like a head shrink? Well, yes, and, uh, and Marianne here is, uh, she, uh... I'm an actress. I act. Yes, she does. I'm also a real estate salesperson. He's a very talented person. Thank you. I am, actually. Speaking of which, uh, wh what about Paul? Paul? What about Paul? I mean, come on, Paul. Going broke and all. Oh, I know. I know. Horrible. Just horrible. Oh, please. He was headed for it. Mr. Fast Track. No grip on reality with that body and all, strutting it about on the beach every summer. I'm sure the man was sexually dysfunctional. Really? Tom thinks I wanted his cock. Please, Marianne, I do not. Don't get defensive, Tom. I'm not getting defensive, and I would like to see your degree. 
Don't pull that shit on me, mister. Fuck you and the horse you rode in on. Stop, dead scum, bucket! Eat me, bitch. Time. Time. Mm. <sighs> Jack, we know. We know. You. Coming home, a birthday, another man. We know and we are here for you. Have dinner with us tonight, the three of you. That would be very nice, but actually, we we're planning to go back on the ferry. Well, what are you having? We are having the thickest, reddest, juiciest, prime cut of beef that you have ever seen. Get any ID? <laughs> Jack, you know Wiley. <laughs> sure he knows me. Shited him for open trash containers. What was that, about two years ago, Jack? Uh, well, y yes. Uh, y yes, it was. Uh, $50 fine. Did you ever go ahead and pay that? I don't remember. Better check it out, Jack. It adds up, huh? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I remember you were really pissed off about it at the time. I walked away. You called me a Nazi fascist pig. Yeah, you didn't think I heard it. But I did. <laughs> I just kept on walking. I don't like trouble. How in the hell you been? Fine. How are you? Well, I could use another champagne. <laughs> Here you go, my friend. Three's my limit. Tom, Wiley. Don't let them stand out in the cold. Yeah, come on in. Come on. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? Hey. 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 <laughs> Folks got some great cheese here. Cutting oh, back on the bread, but now cheese. Oh, cheese is pure protein. That's not the only thing that's pure protein. <laughs> Good one. Good one. <laughs> I was talking about the rose. No, you weren't, dear. You were talking about semen. Admit it, semen. No, I was not. I would never talk about semen. I'm not a semen kind of gal. Now, cum is another matter. <laughs> it certainly is. Oh, you two are sure a bunch of free thinkers. <laughs> bunch of motherfucking assholes, if you ask me. And I see you found our vagina. Oh, guess so. I never seen one up close before. Pity. Pity. There you go Where again. There you go again. <laughs> <laughs> it really is a very special vagina. Quite valuable, actually. It's a roulette. Do you know roulette? No, not really. He's from Paris. Remarkable, really. He uses live subjects as models. This one, I am proud to say, is me. My vagina. Two years ago, we visited Paris, and I modeled for roulette. To this day, I am his only non-European subject. He refers to me now as the American cunt. Can't argue with Roulet. She sure is good. And if I, uh, check out your terrace? No, not at all. I think I'll join them, uh, unless you need help in the kitchen. I don't need help in the kitchen, Jack. Oh, yes, well, uh, I'll just go out now. Uh, Jack, you sure you don't want some cheese? If you insist. Yeah. Hey. How's your wife, Jack? Uh, fine. Just fine. Good. That's good. She's a good woman, your wife. Wiley? Wiley? Your friends are slime, Jack. Huh. That cop wasn't here, I'd shoot the bitch. What about the shrink? He's worse than she is. Yeah, right. Fuck off. Stop it. They can't hear us. They're too busy talking about pussy. I see you found a vagina. It's a roulette. Please, you show some respect. Tomorrow we can leave the island and go our separate ways. But tonight, remember, these people are my friends. They, they suck. suck. Stop that. No, you stop. <laughs> 
We must maintain a sense of decorum this evening. We have just killed a man, and there's a policeman in there. <laughs> just saying goodbye, Jack. You're leaving? Yep. Got to catch the last ferry back to the mainland. Just came out to check up on some houses. Seems there are a few dozen break-ins. Your place okay? Oh, yes. You got to think about putting in an alarm. <laughs> yeah. Take it easy. <laughs> Wiley. Did you fuck my wife? To be honest, I don't remember. It's possible. Hey, don't forget to pay the fine. This is excellent. Just excellent. Not too rare. Not too well done. Not too seasoned. Allowing all the natural flavors to burst through. And what do you think of my wife's cooking, Louis? I just eat it, you know. I certainly hope so. <laughs> Excellent potatoes. I'm sure they are mashed. People are moving toward lighter fare, but I just love meat. Don't you, dear? I don't know. It's okay. Perhaps she's more into fish, dear. Excellent stream beans. Is that true? Are you more into fish? Look, I ain't no fish eater, so just cool it, okay? I just want to eat my food. What she means is... We know what she means. Oh, tempestuous young woman we have here. Very tactile, everything on the surface. Electric, combustible, ready to explode at any time. Just like my first wife, wouldn't you say, dear? No. Oh, the similarity is uncanny. I don't want to talk about it. But I do have a past. So do I. We all know about your past. And <laughs> they were all better than you. All 300. Impotent cocksucker. Bulimic bitch. Latent faggot. Lesbo slut. Time. <laughs> Anyone for dessert? Uh, yes, that, that would be very nice. Mind if I, uh... Stretch my legs first. Me too. I'm kind of full, you know. Stretch anything you want. Or tighten, as the case may be. <laughs> we will. Excuse us. Raspberries. That will be nice. Cream. I feel relieved to be able to talk to the two of you, my friends. We are your friends, Jack. And we understand. Thank you. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Ah. Bingo! Bingo! I can't believe she would do this to me. You two were never suited for each other. She wanted a younger man. Or younger men, as the case may be. Yes. Jack, you shouldn't take this personally. No? Older men are an acquired taste, a symbol of a woman's level of maturation. She must be secure within herself. There are inherent problems which sometimes cannot be overcome, a disparity in the level of sexual desire certainly being primary. But there are ways, and here I am speaking as a doctor, there are ways of coping. I'll fix her. <laughs> I'm never going to get over this. You will, Jack. It may sound like a cliche, but the life goes on. Take control. Start over. Sell the house. It may be a bad time to discuss this, but I would certainly appreciate the listing. This is all a blessing, Jack. I've done you a great favor. You have? I know I'm violating the doctor-patient relationship here, but I may as well tell you that when I began treating her six months ago... Treating her? You say you were treating my wife? Well, yes, certainly. I assumed you knew. She was empty. A shell of a woman racked with guilt and an enormous pain over her past indiscretions. How could you treat her? You and I are friends. She and I are friends also. She came to me. And of course, I knew the marriage had been dead for quite some time. What? I encouraged her not to feel guilty about the past affairs. In fact, to continue to have them. 
Because not to have them, in light of your continued impotence, would be untrue to herself and would stand in the way of her own personal fulfillment. Selling the house would do wonders for you, Jack. 